Stevie McDonald. Um, Stevie, you're a footballer and you play for Calivi, but uh, you're not here to talk about football. You're talking about fundraising. Fundraising today, yeah. And uh, it's, um, I suppose, with the current climate, um, all clubs throughout the country are looking for different ideas of, of fundraising and you know we feel within Cleavy we've come up with a very special idea this year so we have and um, we're in the middle of rolling it out and, and it's going live this Sunday. Well I've had a look at the website and it's phenomenal it, it's so innovative and it's, it looks so well yeah. um, Cowpad Roulette Cowpad Roulette yeah Where this come um, from? well believe it or not about 25 years ago um, Cleavy, like a lot of other clubs um, would have run something similar to it um, basically it was setting out a grid and, and all different squares in the grid and, and letting a cow or maybe even a pig free in, into, the, into the grid and whichever square um, the cow decided to, to drop one in um, that was the winning square and um, people at the time would have been placing bets on it but what we've done this year we, we, we've come together with um, CNB Gaming um, it's a worldwide um, world class gaming company and um, we've rolled it out live on the internet and on, on Sunday evening um, everybody will be able to watch uh, the cow being let loose in, in the grid um, live so it's uh, we feel um, the way things are going uh, um, nowadays you, you know you, if you're going to push it as, as much as we want to push this here um, idea you certainly have to um, take it on online well you really have taken it online the, the website it's a um, it's wee flash program and it, it looks amazing and I can't believe that this came out of an idea in Yuri or in or in Yuri sorry Cleavy. Um and I, I would definitely recommend everyone who's online go to www.com cowpatroulette.com or indeed you can search for it on Facebook and you're on Twitter as well sorry. Facebook or Twitter yeah we're, we're um, you know Patricia as she's known as um, she, she's posting every half hour, hour anyway so she is and um, you know she's she's keeping us all up to date in her tweets and, and um, telling us about the clock rolling down and, and they get online and place your pats and you know it, there's an element of, of fun and, and, and enjoyment out of it as well and it's not only <coughs> um, for our own local club uh, Clevy you know we, we are more or less the guinea pig for this um, concept so we are um, we want to roll it out and, and CNB Gamer wants to roll it out to the wider community to other sports Sports clubs or, or even charities that want to um, come up with some different ideas for fundraising events and, and we, we f- certainly feel that this year is one that will work. Yeah. Yeah. Stevie, do you reckon there's a, a good tradition of supporting local clubs in the area? Look, there is of course, you know, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of clubs um, within um, a close proximity of, of each other and, and certainly, um, you know, when required and when needed um, there is a lot of support um, and generator for each each and other every club you know and, and we'd be hoping that um, you know some of the local clubs will certainly come on board uh, and the wider community as well and, and support our cause for, for this weekend and um, who knows further down the line we'll certainly do them uh, a return in, in the, of the favour you know That's, Well it's, it's because it's a local thing it's local people helping their, their own community and the football club tends to be largely a part of the community. You know, you're a player yourself, so <laughs> yeah. it's, it's in your best interest. You want to keep see the thing keep on on going. Um, but can we just take roll back and take a picture of the scene? You've got a cow in a mm-hmm. field, and the field has been. Like what sort of a size of a field are we talking about? Well, the field is, is basically, um, I would say, maybe 32 metres long by about um, four, or maybe eight metres wide, whatever. But it's the the field is. Um, there's 32 different grids, so there is. There's all the same size. Then. All the same size. The every same every grid's the same size, and each grid represents a county in Ireland. Um, beside, when it is going live, you you'll see a wee map of Ireland on the website, and in each county there they are. There is a specific number for for the county, and whichever number you decide that you want to place your bet on, or um, place your pat on, as, as it's known. Um, uh, if, if the cow drops one in, in that uh, number, then you come up as the winner. And the way it, the way it works is um, you can you can um, place your pad online <coughs> through a secure um, website, uh, w- which will take your your credit card details. And um, it, it, it all depends on the person. They can place um, a five pound pad or ten pound or twenty twenty pound pad, mm-hmm. whatever it is. It, 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 there's actually three different separate pads we call them the first one is the wee pad which I think is five euro, five euro or five pound yep. the middle one is, is the big pad which is ten euro or ten pound and, and the bigger one is is 
uh, I suppose sticking with the GA theme, the Pats plan, as we call it, which is which is twenty euro or twenty pound, whichever you want to um, donate to the cause. And you know, as you said, by, by sticking with the GA theme, there is a, an element of, of fun and, and enjoyment out of it as well. And you know, people can uh, if they want to go online at six o'clock on on Sunday evening to watch the the cow let, being let loose into the field, they can do so at their own wish. Yeah. So the the video from the field is going to be streamed live. That's at uh, six o'clock this Sunday. St- stream live um, from Cornham Upper House in No Meath. Um, that's where the grid is set out. Um, the owner of Cornham Upper House is, is a is a Cleavy man, and um, you know he he's uh, been very kind and, and given us his, his premises for the the stream at live on, on at six o'clock on Sunday evening. You know, on on and the day that it is the All Ireland Final Day, we we like to think that there will be a lot of hype and and um, people will, will will go live onto it. Class. Stevie, we'll be back after this tune to talk a wee bit more about Cowpat Roulette. So check it out now if you're online. That's cowpatroulette.com. We're talking about Cowpat Roulette. Um, Calivi Football Club is uh, putting this on as a fundraiser and it's a fantastic idea. As you said, it um, it was going about around 25 years mm-hmm. ago, but um, it's completely got a whole new lease of life with uh, being online. And uh, if you check out cowpatroulette.com, you can see that it's very easy to um, to make the place bet, place pats, Place your pots um, mm-hmm. for this uh, the live thing that's happening on Sunday night at six. But you were saying as well as that if anybody who's not online or um, hasn't got a credit card that they can go and, and they can they can come down to the club on Friday night. Um, we we play in championship match on Friday night or shares, but the, they're holding the night for anybody who who. Um, hasn't got access to a credit card or, or bank cards or whatever that they can come and they can register on uh, with um, w- with the chair people of the club and um, get their county of choice uh, mm-hmm. put down and certainly like it's it's not all whatever donations is being made here it's not all um, going towards Cleve you must uh, uh, stress that there you know there is um, 50% of the overall takings is being put back out in the prize money as well so that's very important you know so everybody is in with an opportunity of winning money even if they're not necessarily Cleve fans it doesn't matter <laughs> where, where you're from what part of, the, of Ireland or what part of the world you're from um, there's an opportunity there to, to place your pat in the county I'm sure we've all got our choices of, of which county you wouldn't mind dropping one on um, <laughs> I certainly have my choices but um, I'll not go out live and say who they are but uh, you know there, uh, with, with the wee bit of fun that is attached to it um, there is an opportunity there for, for certain people who are, who are lucky to place on the, win, on the winning square to um, win a few pounds as well out of it which, right. is, which is very important. Uh, I like the way you have it done because if uh, on the website there is a screen there and I can see that where, that's exactly where it's going to be. Uh, yeah. The shot is going to be live from Kaliwi at the... Uh, no, or sorry, from Corner Mugler. Uh, from, it's from Corner Mugler. Now what you can see in the squares there is that they're all going to be individually numbered which represents uh, the counties beside them there, uh, yeah. as you can see in the in the map of Ireland. Yeah, there's a map. And if you scroll over, it. if you scroll over the map of Ireland, um, say County Clare will throw up its own number, or County Offaly will throw up its own number, and that's um, the way the the grid is set out. Right, so and it's uh, I can see now it's in alphabetical order, so it's going yeah. right from Antrim right to Wicklow, yeah. uh, number one to thirty-two. Um, the cow itself, you reckon it might be. Um, well, John King's cow from yeah, Corner Market. So the cow, the cow is, won't be John King. So it is now. Yeah. He's a Cleavy man. So the cow. So he's from Armagh. But the the cow itself was probably born and reared in Louth. Yeah. In Cor- yeah. In right. So well, right on the border, really. No, known known as Patricia, and she's six years old. That's mm. what I've been told anyway. <laughs> so, okay. but, um, so I wonder if this cow got any sort of specific or. Sort of well, you, you wouldn't know, but looking at the, the wee demo video clip there, um, you know, certainly there's two cows in the grid and, and they seem to be um, all over the grid, so you just yeah. never know where the cow is going to gonna walk or whatever, but I suppose where, where the biggest patch of grass is, yeah. you, you wouldn't know, but as I said, when it goes <laughs> out live... the tastiest grass, yeah. that's possibly it. Whenever it goes out live on, on Sunday evening and from 6 o'clock on, um, you know, it could be over after five minutes or it could take maybe two hours, who knows, but um, I suppose that's all part of the enjoyment of, of um, running something uh, mm-hmm. live on the internet. Well, that's it, you never know how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. For all we, for all you know, the cow may have gone, uh, you know, number two just before just, just before, yeah, kicked into the field. Or it could have been holding it, you know, it could have been waiting and holding back, you know, to raise the suspense. Yeah, but, um, you know, it, it will be a good bit of crack and um, I'm sure um, Corner Muckle House on Sunday evening will, will be well packed um, for plenty of people uh, looking to watch the All-Ireland Final as well. So there will be a good atmosphere about the place, but um, certainly we'll be hoping that, um, 
you know, a lot of people out there are buying the concept of it. It is, uh, well, as I said, a great fundraising, fundraising idea for, for other clubs and charities um, further down the line. And, you know, if it really takes out for us, then um, we would encourage and, and help out any other um, special requirements for our clubs that, that, uh, that needs it, you know. Class. I, I think that's a phenomenal idea. I can't get over the, the how well that, that website looks. Uh, Cowpat Roulette, but as well as that, if you're on Facebook or if you're on Twitter, you can you can link yeah. to it through that and find you can. The I think by by this morning we had um, 190 followers on Twitter, and and certainly we'd be looking for them numbers to increase. And so if you're uh, if you're on Twitter, anybody out there, um, please uh, start following um, Cowpat Roulette, and even if you're on Facebook, check it out because it's a well worth. Um, it's it's a bit of crack on as well worth uh, checking out the website and it's very easy um from the moment there, there is a demo um video that you can watch and see how how the game operates and how it's run and it, it is a must stress again it's a very secure <coughs> um online credit card company that that is overlooking the whole payment system and um once once you win um payment goes straight back into your card as well which is which is very important too. Yep. Oh, you don't have to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chasing after you? No, you don't. We we have nothing to do with it. Unfortunately, you don't. You don't come uh, chasing after us. Um, it just goes uh, directly back into your accounts. Yeah, I was just thinking about there. If there's even if there's uh, two hundred bets have been placed already, it's likely that there'll be some counties that haven't been covered yet. Yeah, well, that that's um, I suppose. What what we're trying to do over the next couple of days, you know, we're trying to get the the wider public and uh, to be. We're trying to make them more aware of of the actual game itself, and um, you know we do want. Not, it's not only a local based um, concept. We want to spread it throughout the whole of the country and and further afield. If you have friends or family, even in in, in England or, or Europe or even further afield, Australia or America, you know they can go online as well. When when you do go online, you can choose your currency, so you can go from Australian dollars to American dollars to the euro uh, or even uh, the um, pound. As well. So, you know, there's options there for everyone throughout the world. So we hope that um, there is a big intake in the next few days and, and that it really takes off. Stevie, thanks very much for coming in and talking to me here no about problem. Cowpat Roulette. Um, visit cowpatroulette.com um, or indeed if you can't get online, if you don't have a credit card, um, come along to um, the, the KB Social Club on, on Friday night. At six. And No, it'll be after our championship match. We play, um, we play at eight o'clock, but right. it'll be, there'll be people there um, from ten o'clock on and whoever does place their, their bet, as I said, um, through the club, <coughs> they, will, they will collect their winnings from the club if, if they are lucky to, to pick the winning grid. Class. Thanks very much, Stevie, for coming in.